like to grow fresh, delicious, and tasty strawberries in your garden, I'm gonna take you through step by step. Let's get started. I just wanna share with you the products that I have used today. I just got finished putting them down. The fertilizer that I have used is Dr. Earth's Tomato and Vegetable Formula. It has an NPK of 463. Another Dr. Earth's product, NPK of 552. This one here has ingredients in it that helps to feed the soil microbiology. A little bit of organic blood meal, a little bit of organic bone meal, and then a little bit of Epsom salt. Mulching your strawberries is so important because it keeps the berries up off the dirt. Here in Florida, the commercial growers, they use the black plastic, which works very well. But you can use straw, leaves, or even wood chips. Mulching will help the soil to retain its moisture longer and also help with weed pressure. We just got through laying down the black plastic and securing it with staples. I wanna show you the plants that we have here. They're called Brilliance. These came out in 2018 from the University of Florida. This is what a lot of the strawberry growers are growing down here uh, in currently this year and in also in the past. As you see, they have leaves on the top. You may not be used to seeing leaves on the top when you plant your berries uh, in different parts depending on where you're at. But in Florida, we normally leave the, the leaves on top of the plants. They can be cut off about two inches above the crown but it would take longer for them to uh, bloom if you do that. But you have the crown here down at the bottom of the plant. You wanna make sure that your crown does not get planted in the ground or you'll have what's called crown rot and your plant will die. So the way I do it, I just always put my finger down there on the crown to make sure that is where I'm gonna have it leveled with the soil. So I'm gonna put some, um, some worm castings in this hole that I've made here with this little guarding tool. Also, this tool helps me get my plant down in the hole and then just backspace it with the soil and press it down nice and tight. And I keep my finger on that crown the whole time to make sure that I am not planting that crown. Okay, we're going to do another one. Once again, I just keep my finger on the crown. I've made a slit. We're planting these uh, on a double row here, uh, about 12 inches apart in both directions. putting some worm castings in, spreading the roots out some, using my tool to kind of bring down the roots. And once again, I'm just gonna hold on to that crown until I've got this soil backspaced and pressing it in nice and tight. Uh, wanna give you an update on our strawberry patch. It's been about two and a half weeks since we planted our bare root strawberry plants. They are looking really good. They're looking just as exactly how they're supposed to look at this point in time. You can see there's green everywhere. So you were already getting some blooms so quickly. Uh, there's a few blooms out here. I've been picking them off as I'm going along here because I really wanted the energy to focus in on growing the root system a little bit better. As we're going along here, we see there's a little bit of uh, work that needs to be done at this point. There's um, the brown leaves as you can see like this, this is the part of the original plant, so it's time now to uh, snip those off. We have plenty of green uh, leaves that has sprouted out. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is coming through here and clipping back some of this uh, dead and just cleaning it up a little bit. We're gonna get started with that right now. And I'll just bring you down here close and show you what I'm doing here another nice hot sunny day here in Florida in the month of November just come over here on the first plant so what I'll be doing here all this right here is part of the original plant I'll just snip it down here close uh, to the bottom like this and that would just leave uh, the nice um, green new growth uh, here now we've come out here and have pulled a few weeds that's growing up in the middle. It's important to keep the weeds all trimmed back. And so as I have time, I just come through here one by one and just uh, cut off any and all the, the dead 
from the, from the original leaves. And as I go through here and get all this cleaned up and cut back, that will really uh, make it look nice, just the green new leaf showing. So what I'll be doing next, I'm gonna come in here with a soluble fertilizer and uh, we'll be fertilizing these right here in the middle here of the opening. And I'll bring you back when I get to that point. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going through, after I have already snipped off all the dead leaves, I'm going through here to just give each plant a little bit of a, a fish fertilizer. I am just put it in a five gallon bucket of water, about a tablespoon per gallon, and uh, just give it a little bit of boosting growth. The NPK is like a 511. So I want to talk to you again about the cultivar that I have this year. It is, the, the variety is called Brilliance and it's a breed, a cross breed between several different uh, plants put out by the University of Florida back in 2018. It was commercialized. So most of the strawberry plants for Florida come from either Canada, California, or North Carolina. Those are the areas that grows most of the strawberry plants for our state here in Florida. Now, the, you might be familiar with June bearing or ever bearing cultivars. This variety here is called a short day cultivar. There is many different varieties of that cultivar. Brilliance is just one of many. And so the reason why the commercial growers really like the short day variety is because it is very well suited for our environment in zone nine. Uh, for one thing is you can grow it once the temperatures are uh, 60 degrees or lower or when the daylight hours is less than 14 hours. That is what determines it to be a short day variety. But since I uh, spoke with you last, we have came out here and laid down some of this uh, weed ground cover. This is the commercial type down the middle of the rows because I'm hoeing a lot and uh, trying to keep on top of time management and not spend uh, all my time pulling weeds but um, you can't get out of it completely. So this helps a lot with the weed pressure in between the strawberry rolls here. I'm gonna bring you down close here and show you uh, the wonderful growth on these plants here. So we planted these, uh, what, approximately about a, a month ago. And look at the, the great growth we have experienced. At the beginning, when I planted these, uh, what I did was, once it started getting blooms on, I just came out here and picked the blooms off. Wanted to focus a lot of energy on the roots getting developed and the leaves, growing new leaves. I did that for uh, a number of days. And then just recently, I started letting the blooms stay on. And as you can see here, the plant is vigorous. It's uh, robust. Um, We've got green strawberries that have came on. So today what I'm going to be doing is uh, uh, giving it a little bit more uh, fertilization. And uh, I've got an organic product here. I picked this up from Lowe's. It's called Super Thrive. It's got an NPK of a 444. I'll just come through here and uh, just kind of pull these leaves back a little bit like this and just sprinkle uh, a little bit down in there. I'm not measuring. That might have been like a half of a tablespoon. And so I'll do that on each plant. And then I got some worm castings here. I'll just come behind and once again pull the plants back a little bit and just sprinkle just a little small handful of worm castings on top of uh, this uh, fertilizer here. We have drip line down up underneath. I'm a completely an advocate of drip line because it helps so much and just keep it on top of everything being watered, especially here in Florida. The heat is so intense sometimes. And so just keeping it watered from up underneath at the root zone really, really helps the plants to thrive and to do better all the way around. Watering it at the root zone is a good idea. So I can't wait until you get to see these berries turn from green to ripe and we'll be bringing you back along and along as we're going through the 
uh, time of taking care of these plants to harvest. I want to give you some close-up views of these beautiful strawberries. They look very healthy and ripe ones coming on. And I would be interested to know what type of cultivar grows best in your region. Uh, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you on that. You know, there's some cultivars that only do well in the region which they were bred. And then there's other cultivars that do well uh, in other regions where they're not bred. They adapt to other regions, to other environments. So uh, this is our first year in growing this cultivar. And so far we are very pleased uh, now, it's only been about, what, seven weeks since we planted these originally, and so even now, seven weeks later, we've got strawberries ready to pick. So, this is the first picking. I'm just going to come along here and, and pick what we have. Uh, back in the day, the first picking, we called it scrapping. It's time to go scrap the strawberries because the first picking, you don't get a lot, but you do get something that you can enjoy. I wanted to show you how many we got on our first picking. We don't have a lot, but we have enough to enjoy. And some of the characteristics about the Florida Brilliants is they are uh, very sweet, they're firm, and they're very juicy. All right, and so here they are. They're uh, nice and big and healthy. And um, we picked these uh, about two days ago. And here's the ones we just picked. And so, as you see, there's more ripe ones out here, so these berries might need to be picked again tomorrow. So this is December uh, the 19th. Well, it's another day in the strawberry patch, and it has been going very well. So far, all the fresh strawberries that we have been getting, uh, we just eat them fresh and have been enjoying them. Uh, with today's picking, uh, we have quite a bit here. 